Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you something uh, really cool. I always show you cool stuff, at least I try. So uh, this is distrotest.net, all right? So in case if you are wondering, like you want to switch to some another distribution, uh, sorry for blinding you. So you can use distrotest.net to see the distro before even installing it. So for example, uh, if I, let me zoom in. If I want to try elementary OS just to see like uh, the distribution itself so i can just okay i should do the proper tutorial so this is distro test.net all right and uh, you have to click enter in order to enter and there is a list of all the you know distros um uh, you are not dumb you know what this is so you can just click on any uh distribution like elementary os and the, then you get a list like this is the version and i want to start this version elementary os and uh, you know just click on start so it's going to say you must allow pop-ups so your browser must have pop-ups open and it's my waiting time is less than one minute and uh, you if you don't know what is happening this is just going to blow your mind i mean i enjoy it uh, i love like these days so i got this uh this window must remain open and everything but i can click on open vnc viewer so here i got this vnc viewer and let me open this in this new window and yes i got this i have elementary os like inside a browser screen uh it's it's getting open it's just some website running it's just some server running elementary os and i'm just using my computer to just look into that and their machine which is which is pretty awesome and i think it's not working it's giving some error like kernel error i guess something like kernel panic so let's try something else or i should try elementary os 5.1.2 so it's happening again i should close this one this is so not good when you're recording it just ruins your recording so again i'm i got this one minute slow time i want to show you this but oh god this website is taking so much time all right so it's open it's open now all right so it's booting into elementary os let's hope this one is uh this one works let's just hope all right so i just love this thing by the way it's like a virtual machine but in a browser screen i mean it's uh, it's a little bit like um, weird but i i'd like this i can test elementary os it's it's happening it's opening all right so you can see it's elementary os and i can use it i can test it so let's just wait it's happening i don't know what to say uh, i hope you're you are having a good day you know i was watching south park you know it's it's like 2 a.m right now i was getting bored i thought why not make a video on distro test it's a really cool thing i'm also having a good day so it's slow obviously you can see the cursor is like very slow it's it's damn slow and now it's not live okay i can pr click on try elementary and uh, then it will work so it's uh, very slow as you can see but uh, i can test the restore i can see the functionality and uh, i got some options here by the way so i can do full screen uh, which is nice feature and i got some settings some advanced setting uh, which I don't understand, so I will not, you know, do any changes. And here I got my elementary OS. By the way, I believe elementary OS is uh, one of the best distro for beginners, and it's really nice to use this in order to see. Now it looks very slow, but I'm actually using it uh, very slowly. So, but you can at least test it if you have patience, like me all right so i opened the terminal and i can type anything ls so this is this is so cool now i cannot type l for some reason i don't know why it's not taking l as an input so i cannot type okay so it's because i have vimium all right so i need to disable vimium okay not u block version vimium is a is a extension it's not the scope of this video uh i need to just um you know remove it from common all right so i removed it and now i i should have i can uh, type ls right 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 no all right i, I can't type ls okay it it was not in focus okay so as you can see sudo app get install new fetch and let's install new fetch okay i need to do update so sudo okay and why i'm doing this by the way so yeah you can use an entire os from your browser by using this website distro net dot distro test dot net 
okay so this is cool and um, let's just stop the system and you can actually do a lot of stuff i used to spend my time looking at other distros and it's a really faster way even though it's slow but i have the patience and uh, let's try one more so what distro should i use okay parrot os no i never saw raspberry pi os i want to buy a raspberry pi so i should Okay, Garunda Linux. Garunda is one of the, you know, it's the OS created in India. Uh, I should do a review on Garunda Linux. It's a really, really shitty, one of the worst distro I ever encountered. All right, so I got a bit extreme on Garunda, but let's just see Garunda. It's bad. Okay, so it's again happening, uh, starting. It, it's Arch based, by the way. I, you know, I, I believe that almost 90% uh, of Arch based distribution are bad. It's not so good. Only Manjaru is, I think, it's it's okay. Like, they did something. Oh, okay, so it's happening. Gananda is, you know, getting started. And uh, I know what the username is. The username is Gananda, right? Uh, it's written here, Gananda. All right, so. Gananda. Garuda. Garuda, I guess. This is how you pronounce it. And it's, I don't know why. Okay, so I mistyped. That's why it was saying login field. Okay, so KDE. I enjoyed KDE. KDE is, sometimes it feels bloated, but uh, KDE provides a lot of features which are pretty cool. And uh, I used almost every desktop environment. Uh, there was a time when I, I used to switch desktop environment in every two months. And it's really hard to tell which desktop environment I enjoyed most because um, every desktop environment, when I get started with it, it feels like one of the best. But after two months I, I just got bored with it so let's just close this this is the current this is current the linux and uh let's open the terminal let's see if they changed it because i used it uh like um two years no one year ago i guess it's it's a new thing uh, i don't remember one of my friend actually wanted to try this so i was like i was saying they don't try this but okay so this is just console this is not current the customization but i remember they did some customization which was not so good which was horrific all right so i can use any distro like this so this is distro test and this is one of the most useless video i'm making all right so that's it for this video Thank <laughs> you.